My name is Steve Christo, and I am running to be Quincy's Ward 5 City Councilor. As your Ward 5 Councilor, I will prioritize the needs of my neighbors. I will listen to all residents. I am proud of the response and enthusiasm our campaign is receiving. We have received so much positive feedback in the media, on social media, and we have many new volunteers. I will continue to reach out on an ongoing basis so I can fully understand your concerns in order to have an impact. We have so many passionate people in Ward 5, and my promise to be a responsive and a strong voice has been well received. I am a proud, lifelong Quincy resident and North Quincy High School graduate. My wife Mary and I raised three daughters in the Quincy public school system, and we are proud to see our grandchildren continue the Christo tradition of a great public education. After graduating from North Quincy High School, I attended Suffolk University, where I received a BSBA with a major in accounting. While I was working in public accounting and raising my family, I obtained a master's degree specializing in taxation from Bryant College and shortly thereafter became a CPA. I spent the majority of my professional career in public accounting. After many years and many long hours in public accounting, I decided to take a position with my longtime client, Turner Construction Company, a multi-billion, multinational construction company. I held the positions of Senior Vice President, Treasurer, and Corporate Secretary. My professional experience is uniquely suited and transferable to public office. At Turner, I manage a staff of over 200 people throughout the country. My responsiveness to my clients and staff have prepared me for a role on city council. I retired from Turner just in time to focus on the responsibility of aging parents and grandchildren on the way. During this time, I decided to give back to Quincy. I joined the board of Discover Quincy, became the president of the Thomas Crane Public Library Foundation, and taught accounting at Quincy College. My family is equally engaged in civic projects within the city. My wife, Mary, has worked tirelessly to foster support to end domestic violence. Our daughters volunteer and fundraise for our elementary schools and were instrumental in Quincy Pride success. To be successful, in addition to the obvious goals of protecting our neighborhoods and ensuring public safety, my charge will be to focus first on being responsive to all residents. Whether it is a request for a street light outage, damaged sidewalks, road maintenance, or any service you may need assistance with, I will be there for you. I am committed to government transparency. I commit to providing on my website all of the information that I will be asked to vote on. I plan to rely heavily on my financial background to ensure the best result for our residents. There will be no surprises, and you know how I will plan to vote based on your input. I will not change my position at the last minute. Further, any legislation that I sponsor or participate in will represent the position of our ward. I will not vote or change my vote for political convenience. I want green initiatives to be a priority for Quincy. I plan to draw upon the experts and see how we can develop a long-term plan to address the climate issues that are affecting us now and will in the future. Development in Quincy is an ongoing process. I am not against development, but I believe it should be measured and always involve all residents of Ward 5, from Fort Square to Beechwood to Wollaston Center to Hospital Hill and everywhere in between. Each neighborhood should have real input in the process and each neighborhood should be respected. With respect to our residents' concerns for Wollaston Center, I am the only choice for representation as the Wallace and Redevelopment Plan advances. I do not have any conflicts of interest and will be a strong advocate for what is right for the people of Ward 5. Further, I have the capacity, the time, and dedication to handle this challenge and engage and advocate for the whole of Ward 5. As the Ward 5 City Councilor, I will be available to and transparent with all my constituents. It would be an honor and privilege to represent you in the city that we love. I humbly ask for your vote on Tuesday, November 2nd. A vote for Christo is a vote for change. Thank you.